some, what can I say? So like, what kind of mathematics do you think it might need? I know all the mathematics that you know so far. Oh, all the math. No, no, I think I need some mathematics over my women season to do this. No, to explore this a little bit, like, <laughs> to know this and do it, but what, to prove what? it, to prove it. To prove it, what do you need? Mathematics that's over. Well, ma over my limit, like, <laughs> let, me, let me just say, it, it could be but strength, are you, it, are could you? Be, it could be these. Listen, are you, but are you trying to get over your limits with mathematics? Yes. Are you? <laughs> well, maybe not too much, but... You see, the difference between Jacob was when he figured that he needs to go over his limit, then he tried for it. That's all he did. But are you doing the same? And he's actually, you know, 17 years old now, and he's been working like for 10 years. Oh, we were working before we started this discussion. I know, but then he was... He's been working for 10 years to improve himself in mathematics. Right now he's in Canada just to get into a math course. Are you sure? Yeah. How he's, are you so sure about that? It's, it's in the internet. It's the news in Canada. It's a huge news in September 2013. Got, 2013, uh, Papa. Yeah, I know. But he can finish things very quickly, you know. Not before the course ends. Not because before the what? Course ends. The class has to end in time. And then he has to got to do his thesis work, research. But anyway, oh, but the question is really, do, are you thinking about, because, okay, so where did you get all these ideas suddenly sparking in your head from the... No, I had this idea, but... No, you had this idea, but why did it suddenly... I had this idea when I was in... What I triggered it today? What triggered it today? I'm talking about different dimension and matrix. Matrix triggered it today. And what were you listening I, I, to I, I, before suddenly sparked into you today? You're listening, to, you're listening to the MIT Linear Algebra Matrix class on YouTube, right? Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't I it got it. I got it. I know what it needs. I know what it needs. What does it need? Linear algebra, matrix, limits, and what was the, like, the, um, it wasn't a math, but at one point it becomes like Matthews told me something like that. It's like, it has velocity acceleration in it. Really? Yeah, what was that thing again? You don't mean physics, do you? Yeah, physics. physics. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, you actually, need a let bunch me tell of trigonometry, you, you need calculus, and that's how uh, that's practically. Oh yeah, string theory. Okay, so you here, need all of those maths. I'm guessing all of those maths to do it. Let me tell you, physics. Yeah. Is nothing. It's just another form of math. But we need it in this. Yeah, but physics is born out of math. Yes, I can understand that. So all that you're discussing is actually a mathematical thing. It's not physics. Yeah. I know, but those I, who know math very well, I know, well, but from instinct, I, also, well. I know that. But from instinct, I can tell you, hundred percent sure they need physics. They need tri they need trigonometry. They need geometry. They need calculus. They need um, string theory. They need um, physics. I told that already. <laughs> um, they need matrix. They need linear algebra. They need vector. Okay, instead of saying this. You can just say, you need to learn every kind of math for this. Well, not every kind, really. Well, in one root, because math starts from a seed and roots out. Mm -hmm. So, so you what, need are you one doing about, what are you doing about that? Since you know that all these things need to be learned, and since you understand them very well when you start them, what are you doing about that? Watching cartoons? <laughs> How much time are you really mm -hmm. spending on doing that? Hey, I'm spending more time than I used to. So why don't you promise to yourself, like a new, re new Year's resolution, that you will start to learn okay, all these things. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah? Okay. Because all these things that, that you've said... But that brings my other New Year's resolution to make no New Year's resolution. <laughs> Listen, if you, start, if you start talking about all these things without yeah. mathematics, at mm -hmm. some point you don't know if you're right or wrong. Because math can only tell you if you're right or wrong. You can't have many hypotheses, many theories. Yes, but these hypotheses, I'm not saying, 
I shouldn't learn math and I'm right. I shouldn't do anything but because you should I do know it I'm right. So but listen I'm, to me. Listen but to I'm me. not also saying. No, listen to me. Okay. You are at a level of mm -hmm. hypothesis mm -hmm. that's like a hundred, uh, you know, at least 10 years ahead of your math skills. Now that's the problem. Your math skills are 10 years behind your uh, imagination of all this hypothesis. Okay? I do have a good imagination. Of course. And that's what you, that's the strength. Without that strength, not even mathematician can do this. Okay? So the only thing that you lag behind is the tool, the instrument. Yes, I, uh, I lag behind the tool and the instrument. So if but you... I found, but um, according to the situation, you're saying tool and instrument I'm lacking. I found parts of tools and instruments Which from is... different places. Like? Mathematicians. I found different like sources from mathematicians and different discussions and lectures. But it's not complete. It's not complete. But your imagination It's ten percent. Your imagination My imagination gave me that boost to go to ten percent. Yes, your imagination is a lot more complete than your math. Do you understand that point? Yes. That's what I mean. You need to move it forward so that your imagination and mathematics match so well that you could start talking in both languages at the same time and you could actually publish papers. I don't want to be a news reporter. Not that paper. Oh. <laughs> You get that? Yeah. That is exactly what Jacob Bernard is doing. He's doing math in the same speed as his imagination and he's actually publishing papers with university professors. Get that? Is he, you're not far away from there though. Where is he even? I don't I, I'm not even sure if he's in Canada. Okay, let's say you two guys never meet. But then you two guys just may meet someday in a conference or something. You need to go with your math tools, okay? A little more speedy. We have achieved a lot in the last two days. I think in I linear did. algebra, we're gonna just move on farther and faster. If you're doing a metaphor for like a mining expedition, for this math thing, if you're doing a metaphor for a mining expedition, then um, you can say, I found part of a pickaxe. <laughs> yeah. Like what is some, that anyway? Some broken wood, like, you're saying I'm lacking a tool, okay? That's math, right? Mm -hmm. Now, that math, I'm also saying that that lacking of a tool, um, in the description you're saying, I'm saying it as, I'm seeing that description as, I'm going on a mining expedition that will help me in my life and, and everything, okay? But it's actually... The tool that I need is math, okay? Now, the actual tool in that metaphor I need is a pickaxe. That pickaxe is my knowledge in math. I've finished about, um, not even close to 50%, about 20%. Uh, so I found yeah. like part of the um, um, edge of the pickaxe and the start of the pickaxe, but I didn't find the, I didn't find the glue, I didn't find like, the super glue, I didn't find like the middle part of the pickaxe, you know? The pickaxe has like like this part, this part, like this part, right? Yeah, yeah. And then it has like this part, and there's like a middle part like this. Mm -hmm. Now that middle part, that's what I'm searching for. And um, for wood, I finished this much. I need to finish this much still. Okay, so what are you going to do about that? You need those. You know that you need those. Yes, but, I know I need those. But do you know what to do about getting those? No. You got to spend time on it. That's okay, all you need I to will. do. <laughs> new Year's resolution early. Right. Two New Year's resolutions today because I can't make a New Year's resolution. How many, time, how many hours do you think you should spend every day? Two. Only. Okay, let's start with two. Then eventually, Stop. maybe you'll realize that Three. you need more. You know maybe what you should do can... every time you do maths? What? You should try to think about your hypothesis and think how it can be used, uh, how, how math can be used there. So far, I didn't have any math hypotheses. I just had... It's not math hypothesis. No, like, I did. It's not math hypothesis. It's not math hypothesis. You don't, you're not getting me. When I'm going to start it again. When you started watching the MIT lecture on linear mm -hmm. algebra, mm -hmm. the professor was talking about what? Planes? 
dimensions, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and he was showing the mathematical way of it in matrix form, oh. right? And then suddenly the, all these things started triggering again. Mm. That is how your brain works. If the brain gets an appropriate and interesting thing that matches with the, uh, you know whatever you're thinking, then it will start its trigger. Well, the tr- let me finish. Well, Don't start well, talking. Well, let well, me well, finish. Well, 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 that's not, that's not a good attitude. Okay. Let me finish. So, this math thing, the discussion of all these dimensions and planes and linear algebra matrix triggered you to think about dimensions, but you never related it back to the linear algebra that you were learning. Right? Because but imagine... No. L- it, let me finish. Don't talk. Just think about what I'm thinking. Okay? What you're saying. What you can't is go beyond third dimension with math. But now you can go with third dimension that just you, whatever you've just seen on YouTube. In your discussion of all this linear algebra and you know the three systems of equation, that was three dimension, wasn't that? That was three dimension filling out the three D space, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So in your discussion, you know, in that book that you were showing me, mm-hmm. you could go up to that math, but then when you extend it beyond beyond one more, that's not a discussion that you have seen or read yet. Right? Mm. That means if you go a step further reading all these things, mm. then you could start going to the fourth dimension with the math also. And then more, and then more. But the only yeah, way you go so one by time. one, listen to me, you are just a 10 year old kid. Mm. Okay? There's much time left. But there's only much time left if you give enough time. Okay? okay. So if you start moving on with all the discussions in math, but of course, to understand you know, a higher level math, you need to start the lower level math. So you go step by step. Mm. Okay? But you can. It was so easy for you to understand an MIT lecture. That is a university lecture, man. That is a university mathematics lecture in the most prestigious university in the whole world. Okay? What's that? MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. They have the highest level of science and technology discoveries. Uh, one is the California Technology Institute, Caltech. The other is MIT. Mm. So you are understanding lectures from them. Not, you know, only the special, very, very talented children can study in MIT and understand the lecture. Mm. You're understanding it already, so you're already there. You just need to give time to move on okay. because you have a very strong power of imagination. Get it? And that's why I never stop you from imagining. If you want, ever go to your imagination world, I never stop you. That's another way brain exercises to imagine. Get it? Why did you ever think I was so special and talented? Why did you ever think about that? Mm-hmm. Did you ever see my imagination world? No. Nope. Did you ever see me imagine anything? Like no. Nope. Just stand around there or no. just sit? No. I don't need to. I need to see the symptoms. What? That is the symptom. Thinking. But you didn't see that. No. Thinking. Thinking like is the what? symptom. You didn't see me go down the stairs, that's why? No. Yeah, that could be one. <laughs> but it's not only that. There are many other things that some, someday I'll start writing, but then the point is it's in you. You have to are believe in it. Are you going to do it. it in your PhD? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Good point. Yeah, but you have to you have to keep it moving. I will do everything to make sure you get the resources. Mm-hmm. You have to make sure that you give the time. That's it. You will not know where to find the resources. That's something I know. Okay? Mm-hmm. You're not big enough yet. If you're a little bit bigger, a little bit older, then you'll find your own resources. But you have to get in. You have to get interested in the math. Do it. Give time. Learn more. Start matching it with your, you know, this simple thing. This is how great scientists live, you know. They become uh, discoverers this way. They have an idea in their young age. They see it. You know how Newton started? How? He came back from school. He was in his attic, in his single in his room. All he did was stare at the window, which had a hole in it, and lights start, you know, light came in there, 
a ray of light, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. And he just stared at it for hours and hours. Newton is the person, you know, among all his great discoveries, one of his discovery was that light is made out of seven colors. See, that young boy who was in school, you know, they start thinking. So thinking is the power. Hmm? Mm. But do you think Newton did it without math? No. He started excelling. He even discovered calculus at some point. Right? So math is a language. You can't do without it. Every scientist of this kind. Mm -hmm. Hawkins. Einstein. Einstein. You know, every chemist, if you think about chemist also, you know, let's say Niels Bohr discovering the atom model of hydrogen, okay? Mm -hmm. or, or any of those scientists, radioactive scientists like Madame Curie, mm -hmm. all with mathematics. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So, that's it. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, we're recording this in Canada. We used to do this in Bangladesh, but we came to Canada. This is the first no, this is the second recording in Canada. What? Oh, yeah, because this is the second video, right? Mm -hmm. Of this lecture. The no, second part. there's another video that already, is already posted on there. Which one? I'll show you later. It's okay. also about dimension, by the way. Okay. I've given that to Jacob Barnett. I don't know why he's seen it yet. Okay? Okay. Bye. What is the date today? 30th December. 2015. Start with the 2016. 38th. 30th. The 30th. The 30th. The 15th.